Hey, you guys, it's Matt Frazier, the Psychic Medium, and I am live right now, so come on in and join me. You guys, I have something to share with you today, which is a question that I've been getting pretty frequently, and that is, Matt, do you always tell people what you see? And a lot of you guys will ask me, Matt, what is it that you actually see when you're doing a reading? You know, are there certain things that you don't tell us? Are there certain things that you keep secret? Are there any secrets when it comes to the other side? Well, that's what I'm here to talk about right now because being a psychic medium, when you're connecting with a loved one, right? Not only do you see that person's life before you, the life that they lived, you see all of their moments, but as a medium, I also will see certain parts of your life as well. And what is really, really fascinating about being a medium is that it's not just hearing information. It's almost like you're living it, right? When I'm doing a reading for someone and I'm connecting with your loved ones in spirit, they'll show me what their last moments were like for them. They'll show me the people that were around them. They'll explain to me what it was like to die. And then also at the same time, you'll start to feel their emotions. You'll start to feel the things that they went through, the pain that they went through, the sorrow that they went through. But also, I realize when delivering these messages that sometimes, well, actually many times, there are things that come through that are unexpected, right? And also emotional. But, you know, I got to tell you guys, I never hold back with a reading. When I'm connecting with your loved ones in spirit, I know that I'm there to do a job. I have to tell you guys every single thing that your loved one says to me, even if I might not agree with it, even if I think it might not make sense to you, even if I think you're going to hate what I tell you, I have to tell you everything or else I'm not doing my job. And I'm going to tell you guys, sometimes it's hard for me, right? Sometimes when I'm doing a reading, there's certain things that come up that I really don't want to say because maybe it might be a little bit embarrassing or it might be a little bit deep or I know it might be something that's going to make that person really emotional. But at the end of the day, there's one thing that I did when I started mediumship and I made a pact with the spirit world. And that is whatever I see, whatever I hear, I'm going to share with all of you. So first of all, I want to say hello to all of you who are here. I see Kimberly is here. I see Sean is here. Sean says, how's the family? They are doing well. They're doing well. Oh my God, voice is getting so big, you guys. I see uh, Diana is here as well. And I see Kathy is here. And I also see Sherwin is here as well from North Carolina. You guys, if you can make it, I am leaving tomorrow. I'm actually heading, actually not tomorrow, the next day. I'm heading on the, what, what day is today? Sunday, excuse me. I'm heading out on Thursday. Oh my God, do I got my days confused. This is what happens when you talk to the dead. I don't know if it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I don't know if I'm coming or going, you guys. But I do know something for sure. This week, I am coming to give live readings at the Hard Rock in Atlantic City and in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania at the Wind Creek Event Center and then Foxwoods Resort Casino in Connecticut. That's where I'm coming this week on tour. So if you can come and make it, Foxwoods is sold out, but there are a few seats left to my Atlantic City show and to my Bethlehem, Pennsylvania show at the Wind Creek Event Center. So if you can come and make it to see me this week, make sure you get your tickets on my website at meetmattfraser.com. And while I have you all here, before we get started, I also want to tell you, I just announced some new tour dates as well. Guys, check this out. I am coming to give live readings in Jacksonville, Florida, Melbourne, Florida, Tampa, Florida, West Palm Beach, Florida, Red Bank, New Jersey, Sacramento, California, and Las Vegas. I'm so excited. I know everybody has been asking me, Matt, when are you coming to Florida? When are you coming to Florida? So I wanted to, to surprise you, and I'm doing a full Florida tour, Jacksonville, Melbourne, Tampa, West Palm Beach, and I'm also going to be announcing the villages as well. And what I also want you guys to know, if you're on the West Coast, Las Vegas, sounds like it's really big. That's actually the smallest event that I do on tour. So if you can make it to the Las Vegas show, people travel from all over to be there, and I want to invite you guys to come and join me. This is where I do my live in-person readings. So I want to make sure that you know about it, and I want to make sure that you're there. So. That being said, I always ask one question when I'm doing a reading, and that is, can I tell you everything? Is it all right to tell you everything? Because the one thing is, is that I know that some of you want to know and some of you don't want to know. And also, I want to be respectful of you because sometimes when I'm doing a reading, there are some things that come up that are emotional or that are, you know, a little bit personal. So that same thing happened during today's online group reading. So during today's online group reading, there was this woman who attended who had lost her dad. And unfortunately, she lost her dad through an overdose. And 
What's amazing is, is I always ask your loved ones in spirit to really show me things. I want information to really prove to you that it's really them. When I'm doing a reading, I have conversations with your loved ones in my head and I say to them, you know, tell me something so that they'll believe. Tell me something that no one else would know. Tell me something in your voice, something that you did with that person, that you remember with that person. I ask your loved ones to share with me memories, names, dates, places, things that only you would know so that you truly know that it's your loved one coming through. Well, I got to tell you, this girl attended for the first time. She attended my online group reading today. And she got the message of a lifetime from her dad. And I, then I started to see things. And I'm like, oh, my God, I can't believe what I'm seeing. I can't believe what I'm seeing. So I'm like, do I tell her? Oh, my God, I got to get her permission. So I said to her, listen, is it all right to tell you everything? And I love when I ask that question because the moment that you say yes, boom, that allows me to release the beast and I don't feel guilty anymore. Wait till you see what her dad showed me during this reading, you guys. I was in absolute disbelief. And by the way, what I'm about to show you happened this afternoon. This happened just an hour or so ago during today's online group reading. And what I want you guys to know is that sadly, I have so many tour dates coming up this year that to do all of these dates, to come to Florida, to come to New Jersey, to come to California, to come, in New, New, to, come to Nevada. Sadly, in, in 2024, I am limiting my online group readings, you guys. I'm only going to be doing three online group readings a month. There won't be any more added. So today is the last day. There's only 24 hours left to sign up for the, the June 20, is it June 29th? The June, I'm sorry, the January, I keep saying June, the January 29th, is that right? Actually, it's January 28th. The January 28th online reading with me. There's no January 29th, I'm, tour, I'm touring that day. So January 28th, that's a Sunday. There's only 24 hours left to sign up for that online group reading with me. So if you want to reserve your spot, just go to meetmattfraser.com because there's 24 hours left. And also, for those of you who sign up for that group reading, that's a really special one. In the During the January online reading events, right, not only will you get to attend the online reading, but one of you from each of those events is going to get their own private, personal, one-on-one -on -one reading with me. So make sure that you're attending. That's an added bonus. Today is the last day to sign up for January 28th. So if you want that spot, it's $22 to register. Just go to meetmattfraser.com. But guys, you got to take a look at this reading. So this is the reading that happened today. This girl came, this girl was completely overwhelmed. Her dad came through. She had lost him in an overdose. He had, he had you know, uh, there was an accidental overdose here in this world. And this was a really tough reading to do. And you can see that when she first came to the event, she was nervous and scared in the beginning. But the moment that she realized that it was truly her dad coming through, you could just feel the weight being lifted off of her. And what I also want you to pay attention to this reading is something that happens all the time. I started to, at the end of the reading, you're going to notice that I told the girl that her dad was reaching her with a certain sign. He was sending her music to let her know that he was there and with her. And at first she told me I was wrong. She's like, no, no, my dad does my, no, my dad doesn't reach me in that way. Or no, I don't get signs through music from my dad, right? Well, don't you know that her dad became more specific? He showed me that he was referring to a ringtone that was on his phone. And right away, she remembered that just this past week, the same ringtone that her dad used to wake up to in the morning was the same song that she heard this past week. She didn't realize it was a sign. That's why readings are so important. How many times people will come to me and, and insist that their loved ones aren't sending them signs, but it's just that you don't know what's a sign. You're not sure what to look for. You don't realize it's your loved one. So that being said, I want to go and share this, this video with you. This happened during today's online group reading. Take a listen. If this doesn't chill, send chills down your spine, I don't know what will. You ready? Take a look. Your dad is also here. Because I had kept hearing him saying, find my daughter. I need to apologize to my daughter. I need to apologize to my daughter. This is a really hard reading to do because I know that you're still mad at your father. And I know that you're still upset with him because he tells me that there were arguments that the two of you had before he died. And it's all right. Listen, you're here for a reason. And can I tell you everything? Yes, please. Because when I'm connecting with your father, he says to me, Matt, I wish that I would have made my daughter more part of my life when I was here. He tells me that when he was alive, he was, he acted like he was a teenager. He acted like he was a little kid. He shows me that he lived his own life. Yes. He shows me that he was constantly partying all the time. 
and he shows me when I'm connecting with him that he loved women when he was here. Do you understand that? Yes. He, he actually, was, I'm sorry to say, it, but he was a man whore. <laughs> he tells me it was actually really embarrassing for you because your dad tells me that there were times when like you would yes. see like social media pictures of him like out and partying and you'd be like, what is my father doing? And like people would like show you pictures of your dad like out and doing these crazy things. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Your dad says to me this. He says, Matt, he says, the one thing that I have to tell my daughter is that I didn't know how to be a dad. He says, and I want her to know that I admit that now. Because what was really tough is that you used to see your dad out partying and drinking and doing all of these things. But he tells me that he left your life when you really needed him the most, that you felt like he was available. Yes you felt like he was available to everybody else but you. And your dad says to me, Matt, I should have taken a step back and looked at the things that really matter. But I have a, I have a, a message for you. The day that your dad died, he did not want to end his life here in this world. He says to me, when I'm connecting, when I'm connecting with him, he was heavy under the influence of many drugs. Do you understand that? He was. He just said to me, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. He says, and Matt, I really need to let my daughter know that I am so sorry that she's living in this pain every day because it was put there by me. Your father shows me that when he was here, that he truly did love you. But he also tells me this, he, says, Matt, he was my best friend. He says, Matt, he says, I need her to know that the one thing is, is that I should have taken a more, more of a father role within her life. He says, but look at my life. He says, I didn't know how to, he goes, I, he goes, you have dad, I gotta be honest with you. He was, he shows me he was a mess here in this world. He tells me that he did not pay bills yes. when he was here. He keeps showing me like, like credit card notes, no. like not being paid. He shows me there was a time when his car was like almost repossessed. And he shows me like that, even though he didn't pay yeah. his bills, he would be out and partying. Like there was like, he had a ton of money. Do you understand that? Yes. He says to me, Matt, he goes, I didn't know responsibility. And the one thing that he tells me is this, oh boy. Is it all right to tell you everything? Yes, please. Are you, are you sure about you that? <laughs> Why were you smoking marijuana with your yes. father? Why were you smoking marijuana oh my with God. your father? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> your father shows me you smoking the silly smoke with him and I need to know why. <laughs> I did, I did. He said that he told me that he would rather me smoke it and get it from him than get it from someone off the street and die. So your father was your marijuana <laughs> dealer? Yeah. <laughs> you said I could tell you everything. This is so crazy. <laughs> Your father says to me, Matt, he goes, that was the type of father that I was. He says, I was so focused on being the cool dad. He says, when I really should have been there, he says, and stopped you from doing everything. Because your dad tells me that there was a point in your life where you almost went down the same path that he did. Yes. And you know that that's why your dad is coming through right now? He says to me, Matt, tell her that I don't want her life ending up like my life. He says, if there's one thing that I can teach her, because he says, because I didn't teach her anything as her dad. She learned everything through life herself. He says, but if there's one thing that I can teach her in the afterlife, it's don't do what I did. He says, take responsibility. He says, and live your life as an adult. He says, and at some point you've got to grow up. He says, because I didn't learn about it and it was too late. He goes, and now I have to watch my daughter and my family, my friends in pain every day. What your dad tells me is that he had every opportunity to do the right thing here in this world. 
he says, and now that I'm in spirit, he tells me that he's been a protective soul that's with you every day because he's so afraid of you going down the wrong path like he did. He says, and the reason why he's telling you that is because when he was here, he did not set the example that he should have. He says, and Matt, I'm sorry. He says, but please let her know that in spirit, I am always there and with her and I'm supporting her now. You know, what I've I been to... waiting so long for this. Well, I know you have. And I also he know just good... recently passed away. He says to me that you've also been talking about the tattoo. So did you get the tattoo in memory of him? Yeah. That's <laughs> I crazy. did. He said to me, Matt, he goes, I can't believe she got this tattoo. He goes, and can you tell her why did she get it so big? He said to me, because I knew she was going to get a tattoo. He says, but I never expected, he says, to take up so much real estate, he tells me. And your dad thinks that's so, that's so crazy. He actually is telling me the two of you were I supposed knew to- I he would. Wait a minute. He tells me the two of you were supposed to get a tattoo together. Like you talked about getting a tattoo together. Yes, we did. He says, and Matt, he goes, you know that the day she got that tattoo, I was there. He says, because I need my daughter to know that as much as you feel so alone right now, your dad can see everything that you're going through within your life. And your father says to me, all I want is for you to be happy. He says, all I want is for you to be happy, to be safe. He says, and I'm sorry for ever leaving you. He says, but don't suffer because of it. Because I don't want you to suffer because of the choices that I made. He says, what I want you to know is that my love for you is so strong and I will always, always, always be with you, he tells me. This is interesting. Your dad actually tells me that one of the ways that you're gonna know that he's with you is through music. He tells me that he sends you songs all the time. So do you hear songs that remind you of him? Uh, yeah, sometimes, yeah. I'm gonna tell you what it is. What is the connection? Your dad tells me he had a certain song for you. I can't believe I'm saying this. He tells me he had a certain song for you on his ringtone. Was there a certain ringtone um, he had for you? There was an alarm clock. It was I I it was Imagine, it was by Imagine Dragons. It was um oh man. I don't remember. It was like I don't remember, but I remember because when he would play it, it was so annoying. And I would tell him, dad, you got to wake up. This alarm clock is not it. Like this song is not it. And then I just heard it on the radio the other day. And I That's was like, oh, and That's I tried. It. So he had it. Listen, you're going to know that when souls tell me, right? I, your dad I think it's me. radioactive. He showed me like his phone like this. So he had the, the, um, the, what's it called? He had the ring, the, the alarm clock on his phone to that song. Yes. That's crazy. So know that when just the other day you heard that, that was your dad's way of coming through. That was his sign to you because you keep saying, where, where are the signs from my dad? Where are the signs from my dad? So when that just came on the radio the other day, and here you are with me talking to you about it, your dad tells me he sent you that sign from heaven. That's how they come. And I'm so happy that he was able to validate that because I can't tell you how many times I do readings and I'll tell you, oh, your loved one sent you this sign. They're like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. Just like when I was telling you, he was sending you music and you're like, I don't know. He showed me the phone. <laughs> so when you, when you used to wake up to that song every day and you're like, oh my God, this is so annoying. And just the other day you heard that play on the radio out of nowhere. That was your dad. He tells, he tells me you have the chills. That's it was like the song with the sirens where like it, I do. Your dad says to me this. He says, Matt, please tell my daughter that if she wants to know where I am, I'm always just over her shoulder. He says, so tell her that every day that I see her living life and happy, that's what makes me proud. She doesn't need to wear a tattoo. He says, she doesn't have to go, go looking for signs. He says, because I'll be able to see everything. And I really need her to know that and to trust that. It's crazy because I knew I, he's he is a tattoo guy. He loves tattoos, but I knew I had a feeling that if he were here today and I got this tattoo, he would be like, "That's so stupid." Like his famous words were, "You're stupid," <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so, or crazy. "You're a dummy." <laughs>
Well, know that it's his way of letting you know that he truly is with you. He does love you. And it's his way of acknowledging that he is always and forever by your side. Guys, that happened just this afternoon. That was not a private reading, by the way. That woman who got that reading, who heard from her dad, she just signed up for an online group reading. So I'm telling you this because every day I see comments on my Facebook page and YouTube page and TikTok page where you guys see those videos and you're like, Matt, I want a reading like this. How do I get a reading just like this one? Well, I have one day left in January. There's 24 hours left to sign up. I can only uh, allow a limited amount of people. So the next online reading date is January 28th. And during that event, it's $22 to sign up. And I read person after person after person after person. Your cameras turn on. My camera turns on. I'm able to see you. You guys are able to see me. And literally, the souls on the other side take over. And what's amazing is this, is that that reading just shows you that we truly never lose someone, right? Your loved ones are the same as they are here in this world, and they have all their memories with them. So what I want you guys to know is that the reason why your loved ones come through is they want you to be able to live a life knowing that they're at peace, knowing that they're with you, but also that they're still supporting you in heaven and they want the very best for you. So that being said, January 28th, today is the last day to register. Well, excuse me, 24 hours exactly is left to register. So if you want to reserve your spot, just go to meetmattfraser.com because I can only allow a limited amount of people. And not only will you get access to that online group reading, but during that online group reading, one of you is going to get a private one-on-one -on -one reading with me. I'm doing it just for the holidays. So if you want to join me, make sure that you're signed up. And what I also want you guys to know is this. You know, one of the things is, is that during these readings, your loved ones never say anything to embarrass you or to make you, make you nervous, but they do say things because their end goal is to watch you heal. Your loved ones want you to be at peace. They want you to be able to heal. They want you to know that they're still the same person, right? It's really sad because it doesn't matter how much faith we have. When we lose a loved one and our loved one passes away, we as humans just think that they're gone, that there's no way to get in touch with them. We think that they're never, that we're never going to see them again. We think that they're not sending us signs. We think that they're not with us. But during readings, do you notice what your loved ones do? They clear up miscommunications. They, they talk to you again. They show you the signs that, they got, that they're using to reach you. They validate that they still have their memories. And what a reading really does is a reading gives you a last look at your loved ones. Like everyone thinks that being a medium, that I must be scared or must be nervous or like people say to me, Matt, how come you don't go home and cry after hearing these readings? And although it's really hard seeing some of the things and hearing the, some of the things that I witness as a medium, what I can tell you is this, is that when it comes to the other side, when I'm tapping into the spirit world, I don't see your loved ones like you did before they died. I don't see people taking their last breath and not being able to breathe and not being able to remember. I see your loved ones at being back to their true self, their best self, the way that they were before they were sick here in this world. If a person lost their legs here in this world, they'll show me being able to walk, move, and run on the other side. If somebody couldn't remember here in this world, they'll show me they have all their memories back in heaven. Because if there's one thing that I want you to know, it's that deep within you, you have your soul. And your soul remembers everything. Your soul, re soul remembers every person, every, every uh, step that you took, every conversation, everything that you did here in this world, your soul remembers. So your memories and your life lessons and everything that you experienced in life isn't just stored here in your head. It's also, also shared, stored deep within you in your soul. And that's why when you go to the other side, when you transition on, you're able to see everything that you may have missed out on here in this world. So that being said, I really hope that that reading inspired you. And for those of you guys who just tuned in, really important, this week I'll be in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania and Atlantic City delivering live messages. I'll be in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania at the Wind Creek Event Center. I'll be in Atlantic City at the Hard Rock Resort Casino. And I just announced you guys, I'm doing a full Florida tour. I'm coming to Jacksonville, Florida, Melbourne, Florida, Tampa, Florida, West Palm Beach, Florida. I'm also coming to the Villages, Florida. I'm coming to, the, to Red Bank, New Jersey, Sacramento, California, and also Las Vegas. So if you would like to come and meet me live and in person, tickets are up on my website, meetmattfraser.com. And I really hope that you'll be there and you'll come and join me. And oh my God, Rochelle, that's so beautiful that you said that. She goes, Matt. I don't frighten to die anymore. You know, so many people here on my channel say that same thing. A lot of you guys will write to me and say, Matt, I was so afraid. I was so afraid of death. I was so afraid of dying. But somehow watching these readings, 
I'm reassured now. Well, that's what I want to share with all of you, right? Is that I want to reassure you that your loved ones are truly with you. And just when you come to see a medium, right, isn't the time that they're there. They're there with you through every moment in life. So when you're really missing a loved one, when you're really saying, I wish my dad was here, I wish my mom was here, I wish my aunt was here, think again. Because they are truly with you. They never leave your side. And no matter where you go, they go. So that being said, meetmattfraser.com. That's where you can find tour dates and events. And today is the last day to sign up for January 28th. It is $22 to sign up. It doesn't matter where you live, but it matters that you're there because I can only read you if you're part of one of my online group reading events or if you come and join me live on tour because sadly, since touring and, and filming and the book writing and everything that I do, plus being a dad, there's no way I've been able to do private readings anymore. But I do have that last online reading left in January. So I'm so excited to see who's going to scoop up those last few tickets. And remember one thing, the signs are everywhere. Just because you don't see them, doesn't mean that your loved ones aren't sending them to, to, to you. You just not, you must, you just might not be open to the some of the ways that they're communicating with you. So if you don't see the signs, one of the things that you can do is be honest with your loved ones. Say, Dad, are you sending me signs? Because if so, you're gonna be more specific. I don't know it's you. Or mom, are you with me? Because I really need a sign that's gonna hit me over the head. And when you do that, remember your loved ones can hear you. So that's always a secret. You can go and whisper those little messages to your loved ones. And if there's a way that they can get you a sign, they will. And Donna says, Matt, what about Anaheim? Are you coming to Anaheim? Yes, I'm coming to Anaheim, California as well. So that being said, meet mattfraser.com as we can get, get tour dates in. Awilda says, Matt, I really need a reading. These are the comments that I'm talking to uh, talking about, Awilda. I get messages like this all the time. Matt, I really want a reading. Matt, I really want to connect with someone. And then you guys don't attend the online group readings. That's how all of these people have received messages from their loved ones. So if you haven't gotten a reading with me yet, there's two ways to do so. Come and join me live on tour or come to the online reading January 28th. I know it seems like a long time away, but like I said, today is the last day to register. Well, actually, there's 24 hours left precisely. So I hope you can make it. Trust in the signs and remember that your loved ones are always with you. And if you want to attend that online reading, head to my website before it's sold out. I'll see you soon. Trust in the signs.